Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Amit and in today's session I am going to show you how to create variance report between actual and budget. In today's session we are going to use a smart view and the feature of a smart view called smart slice. We see the requirement to make it easy to understand. So my requirement is like this. We need to create a variance report between actual and budget for the year 2007 from quarter 1 versus quarter 1. So actual minus budget is your variance and actual minus budget divided by actual into 100 is my variance percentage. This is what I need to find out for the set of financial elements. These are my financial elements or member of my account dimension. So basically smart slice the name indicates a reusable component. If I'm an administrator, I create a smart slice which may map to the user requirement. User can play around with the data within a given boundaries of a smart slice. The smart slice can be consist of single member or a combination of member. I can in turn use a filter as well. This point is very important to understand. The component serves as a boundaries of the data for the user can view and work with a smart slice. So through a smart slice, you basically limit the user access and user cannot query the data beyond the smart slice. And this way you ensure that you can provide a role based access to the user. So we'll see in today's example how to create smart slice. I also use couple of options along with the smart slice. There are total three activities in this example. We are going with the first activity today. So make sure before you start building a smart slice, you should be very handy with completely handy with the requirement. Like in this requirement, I can clearly see that I can find out the variance between actual and budget along with this point of view. So let's get started. So I'll connect to my open my Excel sheet and first step I'll connect to my HFM. So you see the smart view option appear over here. Go to panel and you can use a shared connection or private connection. I'm going to use shared connection so that it could be in turn shared by other members in my team. I specify username and password. This is the default uh, the URL HTTP name of server 28080 workspace as smart view provider right connect the moment you connect well I log in as an administrator therefore I have option to add space financial management planning and all I select type in financial management and you see in my current application there's only uh, in my server there's only one application exists and I already have a variance uh, reporting as a smart slice I'm going to delete the existing one and create a new one it's a fairly simple you should be very you should be knowing about what set of metadata you like to require right click and create a smart slice create new smart slice right the moment you specify create new smart slice you see the option appear over here the default point of use account in your rows and time dimension period in your column right as per our requirement, we need these members in our account dimension. These are basically descendant of my net income profit loss statement. So I'll select those members over here. I click on account. So member selection window pop up over here. Define the member you like to bring it. I like to bring net income. I could also display this in addition to member name. I can display this member descriptions so this is basically net income loss right i like to select all the descendant of it one way you click on each member which takes you real good amount of time you can do a shortcut check all descendants isn't it i click on this and I say check all descendants isn't it and i select all the member in one go right so i got all these member in my account dimension then i want quarter one only as per my requirement we need quarter one for year 2007 actual and budget. So I'll drag and drop year over here. Simple drag and drop from point of view and your scenario dimension. So default is actual. I want actual and when I click on this dot, this selection window appear actual and budget and drag and drop over here. The scenario dimension as well. Right, so I got actual and budget for year 2007 for quarter one. 
right so well i want to put it over here hmm. anyway let it be here only now now uh, i go to options and what else i like to specify i don't like to display zero value so i under row suppression i enable zero i don't like to display invalid and missing value i suppress zero invalid and missing value this is optional and click on ok also i like to give an option to my user to select the different years so under year option in addition to 2007 i also select 2008 9 10 i'm going to give the option to the user to select the year on the fly right so you can define multiple years in one go depends upon your requirement if you select in point of view multiple years would be visible however default view would be 2007 but user can change different years you can specify this value as well so whichever memory you want to give control to the user you can select it for example in entity also in point of view in addition to corporate operation i like to allow user to select any one of these entity as well china germany colombia and uk right but default point of would be your corporate operation done and save it click on done save this it is asking for your point of view for view let it be ytd and save it i name it as variance report the beauty of a smart view smart slice is that you can use smart slice in addition to excel formulas see in the right click i get this option insert a smart slice when you click on insert a smart slice this option appear and there is an option called insert new reporting object when you click on this you find a couple of options including function grid function grid use h get value table grid table grid chart point of view and slider i go for functional view now and when i move this it finds an option called need refresh so i click on refresh and i find the value over here but as per my requirement i need a variance and variance percentage as well also i like to cross check my point of view is this one or not okay so i click variance over here which is actual minus budget is straightforward your budget minus actual uh, your variance i can write an excel function and variance percentage so variance divided by divided by your actual into 100 variance divided by budget sorry and into 100 and I simply copy and paste this expression, this calculation. So this is the beauty of a smart view. I can make use of Excel functionality in addition to HFM functionality. I can refresh it, right? So this is how you can create a simple smart view, smart slice, and I save this. So next time when my user navigate, we give them option to select any one of the member from the given selection but user cannot go beyond the given selection value. So this is how you can implement role based view. In addition to this, I can also add other functions. You click right click and insert new reporting object and control. You got option for functional grid, table, charts, point of view and slider. So what is the difference between them? You can go through the documentation and get a detailed information about it. But I'm going to underline the important keywords. So function grid you can use we can when you refresh a function grid data cell are refreshed and members are not refreshed so for example when you use a function grid at the same time somebody added new member into your uh, into your dimension new member are added those members are will not be visible to my function grid you need to reinsert the function grid to bring the new members Right, so that's a that's a constraint with the function grid. In addition, to this you can use an office table. So office table mainly used with MS Office. Uh, sorry, Word only and office table display the result in native Microsoft table format. Right, let's try to bring this as well. You can use an office table. So 
I, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be using this in a separate window. Right click, insert table. You see, and I refresh it. It's like a native format. But the problem with this, I cannot add a formula over here. So as per my requirement, office table doesn't fit into picture. You can also play around with third option. You can use a chart view as well. Insert, you can chart view and refresh it. So you can use a visualization of data as well in addition to BC data presentation, isn't it? And finally, you can also add a fourth option called slider in case you want to give the capability to the end user to select one of these value. You can right click and insert at the fourth option called slider. Slider, which member you like to select? I like to select multiple entities. So default would be corporate office operation and in addition to this user can select any one of these entity. The slider appears for different members. When you move the slider, the value also refreshes. Do you see that? The value is getting refreshed. Isn't it? So this is how you can make your smart slice interactive to the end user. And the most important point of the smart slice, you are confining user view for the specific set of some set of members. And this way you can ensure you are providing role based access to the user through a smart slice. So that's it for this example. In next activity, I'm going to talk about some advanced option or smart slice. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us. Our site is bispsolutions.com or bisptrainings.com. Thank you.